Hey everybody, welcome back to Mad Medicine. In this video, we are going to be talking about attachment and the disorders that are related to attachment. Now, as always, if you guys like what we're doing, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your boy's channel. All right, let's get started. Let's talk about attachment. Now, attachment theory is a theory that states that a baby needs at least one strong emotional and physical attachment to at least one primary caregiver. Okay, and the reason why is because attachment is super, super important for normal human development. It's one of the key components that you, that a baby needs as they're developing from a child into a you know adult and into a normal functioning adult. Now, infant deprivation occurs when there is a lack of attachment, and that lack of attachment actually can manifest in several ways, and it actually has many adverse effects on the child. So let's say uh, a child who's been deprived, they can go into failure to thrive where they won't grow, where they won't gain weight and grow like their normal child would. They'll have poor language skills and they'll have a lack of socialization skills. They won't be, you know, open to talking to people. They may start talking a lot, you know, further down the road as compared to normal kids. They may have a lack of basic trust of human beings because Think about it. They've never had that attachment to trust someone, so they may just develop a lack of trust of people in general because they never had it to begin with. And then they can also develop attachment disorders. And we're gonna talk about that in a second. But one thing to understand is that in severe deprivation, death can occur. And this is very important. There have been studies that have shown that infants who have been deprived of attachment or of someone to take care of them could die. And the important thing to remember is that deprivation greater than six months can lead to irreversible changes, right? Before six months, there are there's there's a way or there is a possibility that these changes, this lack of basic trust, poor language skills, poor socialize, socialization skills could be reversed. But after six months, they're going to have irreversible changes and they're going to be struggling with those problems for the rest of their lives. So let's talk about the very first attachment disorder, and that is reactive attachment disorder. This is a DSM-5 attachment disorder. It's been classified as an attachment disorder, and it's a, it's associated with severe early depression and a lack of attachment. Now it has. Uh, similarities to the autism spectrum and in another video we actually talk about autism but one thing you want to understand is that the classic scenario for someone with RAD will be a severely detached child this child does not want to talk to people they are gonna be unresponsive to comforting stimuli from a parent or a caregiver they're gonna be inhibited and they don't show emotions uh, just like an, someone who's autistic wouldn't and they're gonna be withdrawn and they're gonna avoid people and that's all because they never had attachment to begin with early on. They didn't have the ability to feel close to someone who's a primary caregiver and that skill set lacked and they're growing uh, when they were growing. Now the memory tool I use for reaction this uh, RAD is that in RAD they think that people are bad. Okay so people are bad in RAD. Just keep that in mind. Now, this is the perfect GIF uh, for this video. It's really hard to find a GIF for reactive dis attachment disorder, but they, you know, they don't want to be around people. That's pretty much what this GIF right here is showing. And the next attachment disorder is called Disinhibited Social Engagement Disorder, DSED. And this is also a DSM-5 attachment disorder that's associated with a severe early de uh, deprivation. But the classic scenario for DSED is going to be different than RAD. In this case, we're going to have a child who is very, very, uh, who has very little to no reluctance with you know meeting people, with talking to people, interacting with strangers. They're very friendly. They're not afraid of strangers. They're extremely friendly, and they will hug strangers or sit on their laps without. Uh, hesitation and most children don't do that so keep in mind that DSED is completely opposite of RAD I think about DSED as a very very happy baby like the one from uh, boss baby and that concludes our video for attachment and attachment disorders thank you so much for watching if you guys like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and when you subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell on the side so you guys can be notified every time we post and with that being said We'll see you guys soon. Take it easy, guys.